kelele ulitaka kelele utapata Hayawi hayawi mshoe huwa karibu kelele FM mimi ni wenu Suzibi I'm the only prince of uh, Emeka and today in the morning we are having a very interesting topic we're talking about education we have an increasingly serious an employment problem in Africa and Kenya is no exception. Every year thousands of young people graduate from our institutions of higher learning being released into the job market which has become totally saturated. The opportunities are not there. But on the other hand, we are seeing that some people are excelling in sports, entrepreneurship, arts and so on. And the cost of education is becoming increasingly high as the years go by. Mm. So we are wondering, is too much emphasis being put on formal education and informal education being ignored? So we are asking today, do you think we should maintain formal or do you think we should redirect our fo focus to informal education? Let's know what you think. Well, education is not food that you eat. Education is supposed to bring food on the table. Well, the most important education that we need is one plus one. Know how to write your name and very few other things. Why do you have to occupy people's mind by calling the whole village so that they can raise funds for you in order to, to go for education? If you can get food on the table by selling grasshoppers or cockroaches, why spend a fortune on education? Emeka, education is not only about careers. Education is about making you all-rounded. It's supposed to help you understand other people's culture, gain knowledge, ensure that you are actually gelled into the global village, and just make sure that you're a holistic person who actually adds value to oneself and the people around you. If you think that education is for money only, a maker actually needs to upgrade your thinking. Well, if you have money to spend on all this expensive education, go ahead. But if you don't have, why do you strain yourself? Money in itself is no substitute for education, Emeka. At the end of the day, education in itself is precious and an inherent value. If you have to spend a little more to gain it, then why not? What would you actually lose out of ensuring that you spend a little more to improve yourself? At the end of the day, it's adding value to yourself. At the end of the day, someone is doing this and he's going to locate another job that is different from the kind of uh, studies that he did. Hmm? The world is competitive, Emeka. Why should you be born with five shillings and end up with five shillings simply because you see no need in improving yourself? If you get the opportunity and have the space to improve yourself, go ahead and do it. You will not say that simply, it's, simply because it's working elsewhere with mediocrity, you should maintain mediocrity and take it to another level. If you can have it, have a good one. So let us know what you think. Call us on 444106. Write us something on Facebook. At Kelele FM, that is our Twitter handle. Let's know what you think on our topic because you're on Kelele FM. Pahali, Kelele Ulitaka, Kelele Umepata. This degree, in a fata, to ya kizaliwa, unapatiwa, ukizaliwa, unapatiwa. Kwa badala kusumbuwa, na na kuna kitu na kusaidia. Aye, unafikiri, this degree ni gazeti ya kufunganyama. Ndiyo, kwa unaenda kuwestio miaka yote, alafu unarudi tu kungedhia. Ok, siyo lazima uge degree. Lakini, buku ni muhimu. Juhu kisipata yu masomo, itakushoti kimaisha. Mii bora na juhu kusoma kuandika basic. Nini kopoa? Kuna vitu mob kwa life. Na kukula buku, itakupatia jia mob ya kuida mnyama. Itakupatia jia mob ya kuhaso. Na mbona hao umaliza shule ya wakuja kuhaso na sisi mtani? Mbona useme wale wakopoa, wakimanda chuo, watapata job jaguvu? Ile kitu inanisumbua ni, ile haso wanapitiaga wakitafuta ganji ya kuendeleza masomo. Aish, sama wana hopa buku. Azizi ya gopi mbuku, uja kia hata emeka amesema. Masosi ni wengi wame ganji ya maana, na hata waku chupu. Kwanza hao ndo wamechora wenye wame chupu chupu. Niambie ni masusu wangapi ya bawa wa mepauru na wako soma. Sini sumbuwe kicho, pia unajua wako. Ok, kama wako, minaweza kusema, yu wanga ni baati ya mtu. Lakini kina lajua, uniambie ni wangapi, sababu unajua ni wachache. Hai, hai. Awezi ni convince. Isi da yanga, isi da yanga, isi da yanga, isi da yanga, isi da yanga. Aya, mkubwa? Yes. Hey, karibu sama. Yes. 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 Mkubwa, yes. Mkubwa, salama. Mkubwa, salama kabisa, doi. Yes. Karibu kwa kipi. Yes. 
Sasa. Umeona kana aje huko hii masaa? Nikutembea tembea tu. Nikutembea. Kuangalia maeneo. Ehe. Na vile kazi inaendelea. Ehe. Habari ya kazi. Kazi ni mzuri kabisa. Yes. Si utengeneze tengeneze angalau na mimi nione kidogo nimengara. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Mm. Unajua na wewe unaniashia kitu kidogo. Hiyo ni mambo madogo. Si unajua siwezi kukutupa. Nanya hivi nimekelea mguu hapa. Kama hiyo, unajua, unajua siya tindikasi ni mesoea Sasa, yes. unajua sisi kwetu tunasema wa Kenya uh -huh. Nguvu ya maji ni mawe Sajent Sini ya sajent Yes, ame <laughs> Sasa, yes. kuna vitu Nataka unichukulie kwa ofisi No problem, ni Sitaenta tu sa IPO Tulia bana, huh? kuna file imedi kwa peti cash Nikulete Unichukulie yu file, yeah. nilete Yo sini wisi, wisi gani, kwa nita kutumajo kanibia kwa desiki yangu Sawa, sasa nimajua, unataka nienta ki ninja Hei, nisi wanakane Kabisa, yes Nini, 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 kwa nita imba kwa ya kimasai yapa We are back and thank you for staying with the number one station, Kelele FM. You're with me, Suzy B. I'm the only Prince Emeka. And today on our hot topic, we're talking education. We are seeing parents are paying a fortune to take their children for higher education. But then we realize that the job market is saturated and most of these children graduate out of school and have no jobs. So we are asking, do you think we're laying too much emphasis on formal education and that otherwise we should transfer some energy to the industries that tend to work? Or do you think... That that formal education should be one of those things that we work with, expensive or otherwise. Let's know what you think. Kelele, hello. Hello. Hello, sir. Hapo ni Kelele. Yes, this is Kelele. Who are you and where are you calling us from? Eh, uh, mimi ni Marius kutoka Kangundo. Okay, talk to us. Hawezi kupuuza elimu labda uwe na kita. Sikuizi mutoto akianza kutembea, alafu kukimbia, shule na fuata automatic. Iyo ni maisha yake ya usoni. Atujapuza elimu, tunasema kwamba Ikiwa kwamba utaongeza elimu Bada form 4, lakini iwe kwamba Iye elimu haita manufa mtoto manake hamna kazi Kwa hiyo inaonekana ni kama mbao Hizo hizo hela afadhali Uwendo kaiweke kwenye biashara Uwendo kafanya mambo mengine hila mbao Inaonekana kwa mba ya na manufa zaidi Masomo kama imeingia kwa kichwa Haiwezi potea Wewe kama muzazi wakawaita ambaye sita jiri Ni nini unaweza kusaidia Mtoto wako nayo, diyo wako mbele Ajizimamie Sini masomo? Ama hiyo kitu ingine? Hatukatai, lakini tunasema kumba kama hiyo masomo haita msaidia, manake hamna ajira, itakuwa vipis. Ya fadhali hizo hela zipelekwe zifanya mambo mengine? Hapana, ni kama kumwekea mafuta kwa gari ya maisha. Hiyo ni ya kumuanzisha safari. Kama hiyo mafuta haita mpikisha na kuenda, itakuwa at least imemuzukuma mpaka maali hata akipata baiskeli, atafika na maali. Aya, kwa hiyo naona kumba tuzingatia mambo ya masomo. Hata kama huna pesa, sukuma mpaka mahali utafika. Aya, sante sana kwa maoni yako. Hello, Kelele FM. Hello, Kelele FM. Oops, we lost that one. Hello, Kelele FM. Yes, this is Safira from Matamu. Yes, Safira. Like that copper in the Bible. I hope your husband is not Ananias. She didn't say Safira, she said Safira. Don't mind him, darling. He's still recovering from his village ways. Tell us what you think. Mm. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you think. Suzy, you know, at some extent, I agree with this Nigerian guy. Kenyans can go to an extra mile to get higher education. They'll do the Arambes, sell livestock, sell lands, and even take loans. But we don't think what's next with this education. We don't ask if what we are doing is competitive or relevant. Yes, at least someone is seeing some sense in what I'm saying. Oh yes, you are making some sense, sir. But you have to stress that education is very important. If it were not for education, Emeka, you'd not be seated on that seat. You'd probably be in that remote village of yours in Nandumbra State, tending to your cassava garden with your two wives. Yes, three, three wives. Anyway, we need to be thinking first. Number one, we should understand that this education that people always move in is the Western education that was brought by the colonists. If a man learns a craft from a more experienced man, 
then that person becomes more experienced and he goes on with life. Nowadays, we only tend to understand things that are brought by Western education. Eh? We, we believe in education of certificate. If you get a certificate, that's when you call yourself an educated person. Hey. Emeka, we are living in modern times. We are not living in back in the day. Mm. Right now, should you get sick, you go to see a doctor mm -hmm. who has had to go to school and get those certificates you speak about. So we are not living in the age of hides and skins. We are living in the current times where you have to move with current things. And that is what determines whether you remain formal or informal. Of which, Emeka, it is not even a question that you are going to discuss. When people become sick, the last resort, they run to the herbalist. Mm. They run to that herbalist man, he gives them. Because why? They know that that is the only place where they will have their cure. We cannot fool ourselves. Right now, we are living in the age of information and technology. It is not anything that we can substitute. You had better get used to it. We are going to have to advance, and in advancement, formal education is not anything you can negotiate. It is here to stay. We are going to have to embrace it. Don't touch that dial. We're on Kelele FM. We're Kelele Ulitaka. Kelele Umepata. We'll be right back. Kelele FM. Ah, yes, a Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Wewe, una kwa desk ya Pilato? Eh, eh, ah, mimi ni. Nimekutwa na 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 natoa fumbi. Wewe Asante sana kwa kusikiliza station nambari moja kelele FM na leo hapa Suzibi na Enmeka tunazungumzia mambo ya elimu. Kuna tetesi kwamba Elimu ya hali ya juu kwamba inagarimu hela nyingi sana na kwamba ajira haziko za kutosha. Kwa hivyo tunauliza kwamba je, is the quality of education worth the money you're paying for it? Let's know what you think. The, when you go to these so-called Western countries, if a child knows how to play football, they take that child into football academy. If the child knows how to sing music, they will take that child into music school. Now, when you come to Africa, is where we have the biggest problem. If the child is a footballer, we, we tell that child he's not good. Instead, he's supposed to become an engineer or a teacher. That's our own mentality. Education makes you better whatever your talent is. And that is a responsible message you should be sending out to our listeners. Hello, Kelele FM. Hello. Hapo ni Kelele. Yes, hapa ni Kelele. Mwanzangu nani unapigia kutoka hapi? Nito Rebecca niko na nyuki. Yes, Rebecca tuambia. Hiyo degree mnasema sasa sio kama zamani. Zamani degree ilikuwa inamaanisha kazi mara moja. Siku hizi degree ni kama kartasi ya kufunga nyama kwa butchery. Ai, vile watu wanatafuta degree kwa bidii utasema hivyo. Wapi maana yake kama utakuja kukaa nyumbani kusumbuka? Si hiyo kartasi sasa imekosa kazi. Unamwaga pesa nyingi shuleni lakini ona hawa vijana wote wako nje wakihangaika. Lakini hizo kazi nzuri nzuri utapata vipi kama una hiyo elimu ya juu? Hakuna maana hizi kazi zote ni kujuana kama haujui mtu hiyo yote ni bure. Kwa hiyo unasema kwamba haina haja ya kuwasomesha watoto sana kwani hizo pesa zinaweza kutumiwa kwa mambo mengine. Hiyo pesa yote unamwaga huko shuleni. Oh, too bad we lost her. Hello Kelele FM. Kelele FM. This is Vincent from Kenyatta University. Yes Vincent. I think this is an important topic for all of us. Education these days is something else. We have graduates who cannot even write a proper application letter or communicate effectively. Oh, Vincent, you don't mean to say that most of the graduates can't actually communicate properly. They are many enough to get us worried. That tells me there is something wrong with the whole system. That's why we have all this joblessness. 
Well, are, are you saying that uh, we have unemployment issues because our education system is wrong? Partly, yes. Uh, I don't get that right. Look, there is no major economy in the world that developed because it had highly educated people. It's the skilled people that make things happen. If we could just follow this example and turn our education system from an intellectual one to a more skilled based one, we have moved forward. We will stop producing robots trained to be employed to people who actually solve our problems and creating wealth. And how do you suppose we can do that? Just look at our problems and seek an education that delivers the solution. We have food security issues and a lot of arid land. We need to develop expertise in dry land farming. Our people need access to cheap technology. When we produce people who can solve those problems, you wouldn't hear of jobless graduates. Asante Vincent for that lecture. Vincent anasema kwamba uh, ile elimu ambayo tuko nayo haifai kama taifa. Ndio manake watoto wetu hawapati ajira. Kwamba tukiwa tunaweza kuzingatia manufaa ya nchi, kwa hiyo tutakuwa tunaweza kupata kazi manake tutakuwa tunawasomesha watoto kulingana na mahitaji ya taifa. Thank you so much. Continue to engage us. Let's know what you think about today's topic. Kelele, kelele ulitaka, kelele, kelele umepata. Una jote mwingine mimi kufikiria hiyo time imekuwa chuo, haikuwa worth it. Mbona? Ndio ile kitunafanya hapa job ni kidogo sana. Si hata uliona, nikaa tu kutrain watu wa fresh. Si ndio matunda unakulia hata sasa. Ilikuwa ni lazima nichukue muda wote ndio nifanye kazi kama hii. <laughs> Basi tuombe kama kuna shortcut nyingine. Unafikiria ukichunga ngombe ama kondoo ama ngamia? Unaweza kuja tu kwa ofisi kama ume, ume, umepata tu kazi hivyo. Sio hivyo. Hiyo mambo ya mtu anasoma miaka 18 tena akipata job anakuja kutrainiwa tena. Hiyo si mambo mabovu sana. <laughs> Shule ni wasi funzwa kila kitu. Kuna kitu inaitwa on job training. On job training. Ndio yeah. hiyo sasa. Bali ya kwenda shule miaka yote ungekuwa natupia hiyo on job training mara 1. Wewe <laughs> unapenda shortcut sana. Shortcut sana napenda shortcut. Kana naweza pata kitu in 5 years mbona nitumie 10 years? Basi wacha nikwambie, hivyo ndio kazi inakwanga. Tena very competitive. Ndio maana unapata kila mtu anajaribu kuiongezea certificate pale, certificate huku, kila mahali. Sasa ndo anaribu mambo. Unapata mtu amejaza ma CV yake, ma certificate, ma certificate. Hiyo ndo anisha watu wamesoma sana. Sio ndo kuharibia watu wengine. Basi kama hivyo ndio kila mtu anacheza hii game, wacha kujifanya wewe unajua sana. Haujui kitu. Umejifanya mjanja sana. Mjanja wapi? Mjanja wapi? Ah. Sasa wewe 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 unajiita kama mgosi wewe ni wewe filato wewe ni filato gani wewe msaliti wewe eh wewe unaitwa kwa misisi kama wewe ukijua vizuri kabisa nitaenda nikamatwa isn't you ati ati wewe unajua naongea na nani naongea na wewe mimi ni nani wewe ni mgosi yangu lakini umenikosea sana unajua lazima ukue na heshima nafanya heshima sasa nimeenda nimekamatwa umeambiwa nini msisi kama wewe amaniambia lazima ataenda ku Anasema atapeleka hii maneno kwa mdozi. Ah, hiyo maneno sikushtue. Sasa ndo niambie ni shtue na hii kazi yangu tu tuenda simamia watu 60 huko kwetu nyumbani. Watu ngapi? Watu mingi huko nyumbani. Ah, sasa wewe ni kitu cha kubabaisha. Haya, basi tufanye hivi. Eh. Mimi naenda kuzama nuo ule ni tu. Ngoja 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 ngoja. Yes. Unajua hii dunia ni mapito. Si ndio hiyo najua ni mapito. Eh. Na siku nyingine hata mimi naweza simama na wewe. Najua hivyo. Sawa. Yes. Sasa wewe ukiulizwa mm. unasema ni mapito. Unasema sijui mafito ndio nini sasa? Oh. Wewe lakini mbona unakuanga hivi wewe? Hakuna problem, nilazama sijui. Sijui? Na Miss Kamwese akikuja anamwambia sijui. Sasa ananamwambia sijui na ananiambia yeye ndiye anatangana sasa. Kwani Miss Kamwese boss yake ni nani? Na kama unataka una, unataka niseme sijui, bas. Nifuatie kitu kidogo ya kunifunika masho. Yes. Wewe unataka tu nisimama na wewe, wewe utasimama na mimi siku gani? Waacha kunifunika. Sasa unanivinya vizuri sasa niangalie ni ngapi? Yaani unanipatia shilingi 20 hata iwe sinunua masiwa ya mtoto, alafu naniambia hapa sijui nini. Sirudishe basi. Sirudishi, lakini wacha nikwambie kitu moja. Mimi nikiulizwa lazima nitawaambia ni wewe ule nituma. Kelele FM, hello. Hello Suzy. Eh, hey, a fantas apoyo makoduto. The Lopin is here. No. The Lopita. Oh, Lopita. Hey, I tell you. Now Susie. Mm. You cannot demean the importance of education. It is an abomination. Education is life. It is not simply for a career. Mm. But isn't it costing too much and there are no jobs? Good education costs. Mm -hmm. You 
cannot expect to drive a Mercedes Benz uh, like my limited edition CLK series <laughs> and then you take it to Kangware for servicing. If you are not ready for Mercedes, you can always get a Pro Box and be comfortable. So what you're saying is you ought not spend that amount of money on education when you can't afford it. Go to what you can afford. And don't get learned to make money. Get learned to be learned. Hey, yeah. Uh... Okay, thank you so much, um, Fantas Apoyo Makoduto the second for calling. Doctor. Doctor Fantas Apoyo Makoduto the second. Thank you. Thank you so much for calling. Kelele, kelele ulitaka kelele umepata. Kelele FM. My office. In fact, I've listened to your memo. That guy should be punished for gross indiscipline. Very, very terrible. My own office. I'm a two one And by the way, Pilato, I'm still waiting for that file. The petty cash expeditions file. Because the previous one, it's not adding up. Huh? Petty cash. Mm -hmm. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Nanini, by, you've been behaving very, very funny. Since you disappear, you switch off your phone. You don't know what you're doing. What is wrong? Ah, ah, come on, please. You know, see you. You know, you're going to get out of here. You're going to get I have to go off all that way down there. No, 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 Sasa, mm. you see this? There are some little discrepancies. We need to sort it out. Okay, I will just do it the kelele way. Huh? Chop you at the end of the month from your salary. Salary? Mm. Ah. Ah, chop, Basi. 